Hi, my name is William Gower. Today I'm speaking with uh, Ian Ewart, uh, CEO of EMU Corporation about electrolysis. Welcome, Ian. Thanks, William. Good to, good to be here. So, uh, Ian, start us off a little bit. Uh, for our viewers, what is electrolysis? Well, it's been around for, you know, over 200 years and uh, in its simplest form, it consists of an electrolyte and two electrodes, a positive and a negative electrode. Um, you can then deposit metals at the cathode, that's the negative electrode, and the positive is the anode, uh, which is an oxidation reaction, and usually that's uh, splitting water and generating oxygen. So it's a pretty simple process that's been around for, for many, many years. It, in terms of uh, its simplicity, um, how is it used? What are the common applications for it? Okay, well, it's used in a lot of different applications as uh, electro-winning, and the, the name or winning in there means recovering metals, so it's taking metals out of solution. There's electro-refining, which is really purifying the metals. Um, electroplating, which is depositing metals on the tour surface. It's used in chemical production. You know, you're making sodium hydroxide and chlorine, um, so a lot of chemicals it's used. Electroforming is where you actually make a shape out of uh, electrolysis using electrolysis, and electropolishing where you remove layers of the metal and get to a highly polished surface. So, a lot of different uses for electrolysis. You mentioned metals uh, in the applications, but are other components, for instance, like acids, for instance, used in electrolysis? Yeah, acids are used a lot in, in electrolysis, and, and particularly sulfuric acids. Sulfuric acids used for, for copper, zinc, nickel, and various other metals. Um, other acids can be used, hydrochloric, sometimes used, nitric acid, um, gold and silver, and uh, yeah, a bit in, in nickel. So, but, but mainly sulfuric for the large sort of tonnage of metals. So an acid in a metal, um, it seems like the basics. Um, what about equipment? I mean, in, in terms of uh, what sort of equipment is, is required to uh, sort of complete this, this process? Usually you have uh, uh, what's called an electrolytic cell. So that's where it holds all the electrolyte. Um, and those can be different shapes. I mean, the really early ones were cylindrical. Uh, went to square boxes and, and actually now a lot of the, the, the more efficient stuff back to cylindrical. So you have an electrolytic cell, you have, as I said earlier, two electrodes, an anode and a cathode, and you can have a, a series of those in a cell. You have a power supply and it's a DC or direct current. So it's not like your, your household supply, it's like your car battery. So the DC power supply, and you usually have a pump or something moving the electrolyte around. So those are the sort of key key components you need for electrolysis. And, and, and getting back to metals a little bit, um, electrolysis in, in recovery of metals, um, this is a, a common application? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's used for, for a lot of metals. And I, I guess in particular, you'd probably look at uh, copper, um, zinc. Um, they're about 80 to 90% of uh, the, world, you know, the, the world's production of those metals made from electrolysis. Uh, silver is also you know, right up there in terms of very high percentage of silver made by electrolysis. Um, aluminium or aluminum, as you, you probably call it, William, um, that's uh, one of the large ones that's very, very high um, electrolysis. And in terms of tonnages, I mean, there's more uh, aluminium or aluminum electrolyzed than all the other metals put together. So, you know, a lot of tonnage of metal is made by electrolysis in the world. Right. Interesting. Uh, you know, we, in, in terms of metals, we often talk about, uh, you know, primary production of metals and, and sometimes secondary production, which includes recycling. Uh, can electrolysis be used in, in other metal production pathways like a recycling process? Yeah, it's used a lot in, in recycling um, and, uh, in, in various metals that we talked earlier. Uh, um, aluminium, though, for, for instance, is used mainly in primary uh, production where they they uh, produce it from melt, molten salt, um, so it's a very high temperature molten salt for aluminium, and the energy requirement is very very high. So if you recycle aluminium or aluminum, um, you'll do it pretty much by melting, and it's probably about ten percent of the energy required for electrolysis. But in many other metals, copper and, and other metals, you, know, you can use it for recycled metals. 
Um, so it's it's used a lot in recycling, and we're expecting uh, we've got some charts here showing uh, the the metals recycled, and um, you can see that um, we're well away from a hundred percent recycle. In a perfect world, we'd have a hundred percent of the metals recovered uh, from waste materials, and uh, you know have zero fresh materials. That's obviously not practical but uh, you know we're moving towards that that target or that goal um for instance uh, lead acid batteries are very very highly recycled there's not much that that doesn't get recycled of lead acid batteries and the new lithium ion batteries there's more and more technologies out there now uh, focused on recycling the all the parts and all the components of lithium ion batteries so ian can all metals be recycled by electrolysis uh, theoretically, pretty much all metals can. Um, in reality, you know, it's, uh, it's hard to re recover uh, many of the metals like uh, calcium, lithium, by electrolysis. You have to use molten salt, so practicalities um, sort of get in the way. Um, some some metals are you know, fairly easy to recover, um, for, such as copper. So so yeah, it's it can be used. Um, iron, for instance. Um, it's much, much lower cost to, to produce iron by smelting methods. So it's, you can do it by electrolysis, but it's not practical or economic uh, commercially. Um, there are, uh, there, there is an electrochemical series, as you can see here. And the higher up the series you go, the more difficult. So you've got potassium and sodium up the top. They're very difficult to, uh, to electrowin or electrolyze. And down the bottom, you have silver and gold and copper. Yeah, much, much easier. Um, there's an interesting one in the middle there, hydrogen. It's not really a metal, but um, certainly a, a lot of hydrogen is being produced and can be produced by electrolysis. I think we're going to see a lot more of that in, in the future as the hydrogen um, fuel becomes more and more important. So I think we'll see that as a, a semi-metal or electrolyzed product. Very interesting. And, and I guess, you know, finally, uh, just to sort of conclude, um, you know, in terms of the metals that uh, are recycled, uh, are produced by electrolysis, either from primary sources or, or secondary sources, I mean, what are the main advantages of electrolysis over other technologies for recovering metals? Well, two, two, two main things. I mean, really with electrolysis, um, it's very often the lowest cost method. So for instance, copper, um, you know, it, it, it'll generally be a very low cost method to produce the metal, silver and gold, etc. Um, but I, I guess pretty more importantly, you can get very, very high purity that you, you can't get in, in say, a smelting or a, a pyro process. So really the purity is, is really where you, you see four nines, which is 99.99% pure and above uh, metals commonly produced by electrolysis. So um, that, that's really the, the, the big advantage. Um, Metals like, and I guess when I say metal, hydrogen can be produced by electrolysis, and it's sort of in there as, as, as a sort of a semi-metal, and I guess can be thought of as a metal in some cases, but it's um, produced more and more by, by electrolysis, and it's a more and more important uh, production method. Well, Ian, that's been very interesting. I really appreciate your time, and uh, I think our, our viewers definitely learned a lot more about electrolysis. Thanks for your time. Thanks, William. Well, hopefully they'll, they'll see a lot more electrolysis out, out and about there. Thanks. Bye.